Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well and your preparation for the final exam is also going well. Okay, so just to help you further, I have prepared these questions. Okay, they are very important for your exam point of view. Okay, and especially there are the multiple choice questions. So without wasting our time, we'll solve these questions okay so let us start if the nth term of an ap a n is equal to this then its second term is dash so this type of question you can expect in your final exam okay so whenever they ask this question just put 2 at the place of n that's all 3 into 2 so 24 minus 6 how much is that 18 right so option number a is the correct answer question number two if the nth term of an ap is this again they have given a n a n is equal to 5 n plus 3 then the third term is dash so just put 3 at the place of n okay and multiply 5 3 is a 15 plus 3 again it is okay this time it is 18 okay it's very simple moving to the next question in an AP, if a n is this much, then the common difference is dash. Yeah, here this is the different type. What is d? We know that it is a n minus a n minus 1. We can also write this as a2 minus a1. Correct? So first find a2. Okay. 2 2 is a plus 1. 2 2 is a 4 plus 1, which is 5, right? And then find a1, which is 2 into 1 plus 1. 2 1 is a 2 plus 1, which is 3. Now do this 5 minus 3. How much is 5 minus 3? 2. That's all. That is the common difference. Okay. Moving to the next question. If the nth term of an AP, n is equal to 3n minus 2, then ninth term is what? So again put 9 at the place of n. That's all. 27 and this is 27 minus 2. Okay. So it is 25. Option number D. In yes, it is plus 25. Okay because option is provided with minus also got it i hope you are getting it moving to the next question the nth term of an ap this is this one then it's fifth term again these questions are very simpler okay so 20 plus 5 how much is this again 25 okay now coming to some other type of questions which of the following is an AP? Okay, they have asked is an AP. So how do we check whether the given series in, is in AP or not? It is mainly if uh, the common difference is same. Only then we can say APs. Yeah, the series forms AP. So we'll start with this. What will be minus 1, minus 1? It will be minus 2, correct? Next, minus 2, minus 1, it is minus 3. So they are different. So this can't be AP. <coughs> now we have 5 minus 1, it is 4. 9 minus 5, yes, again it is 4. So this can be, but let us check here. See, if you do this, this is minus 4. Here it is uh, uh, plus 4. So this can't be. Again, here it is 1. Here the gap is 2. Here it is 4. So even this is not AP. So only option B forms the AP. And that is our answer. Next question. The 11th term of an AP, this, 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 this is dash. So 11th term, here they have not given any nth term. So use the formula which you have learnt. That is n is equal to a plus n minus 1, n, n minus 1 into d. So a11 is a plus 10d, right? So here a is how much? Yes, it is minus 3. That is very important. And d is a2 minus a1. That is minus 1 minus of minus 3 don't forget to write this and if you can't do this just do it by this 3 minus 1 that is 2 that is also correct okay so d is 2 so substitute 10 into plus 2 okay so minus 3 plus 20 which is equal to plus 17 option number d got it i hope all the questions has been understood by you if yes do press the like button moving to the next type of questions okay my aim is not to waste your time okay and in limited time you should learn as many problems as possible okay and they are all different type 
Next, if 4x and 10 are in AB, then the value of x is what? So, if I write here a1, a2 and a3, okay? What will be d here? We can write d as a2 minus a1. Again, I can write d as a3 minus a2, right? And both these d will be equal, correct? Difference remains the same. Same thing we are, we are going to do here. We can write here x minus 4. This is also d right and 10 minus x again this is also d both of them will be equal we will equate them okay so x will bring to one side and numbers to one side so this becomes 14 which is 2x so 14 by 2 how much is that yes it is 7 plus 7 right option number d okay you can also do this using like uh, this is a this is uh, a3 but it will take a little time Okay, you have to find D there, then substitute. Okay, here you can directly write X. What is X? 7, that's all. Next, the sum of the first N terms of an AP, this, this, this. So, what is this? Even number, right? So, if you don't know, just write that formula. SN is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus. Most of the students, what they do, they just buy it, the formula of uh, even numbers, odd numbers no need to do that just add the main formula and substitute n is the same n by 2 2 a a is 2 plus we don't know n minus 1 into again d is 2 so here this is n by 2 this is 4 plus how much will be this 2 n minus 2 correct so n by 2 into 2 n 4 minus 2 is plus 2 so we can take 2 common okay so this becomes n plus 1 so if you solve, you will get n into n plus 1, okay. So the option number, yeah, option number A is correct. Got it? Can we say this as the correct one? No, because this is 2n plus 1. We have got 2n plus 2, okay. So don't get confused. Next is question number this. The nth term of an AP is given by this, then the first term of AP is dash. So first term is what? A1. So just put the value of n as 1. Simple. So 7 minus 4 which is 3. Option number A. Okay. Now next question. If x, 5, 12 and y are in AP, then the value of x and y are dash. So again, use the same condition. A1, A2, A3, A4. Okay. What is this? X. This is 5, this is 12, and this is y. You, what you can do, you can just do like this. Okay, 5 minus x, it should be equal to, again, 12 minus 5, correct? So, what will be x? 5, 5, uh, we'll do one thing. We'll keep x here, and 12 minus 5, again, this is minus 5. So, 12 minus 10, how much is that? 2. So, minus x is 2, which means x is minus 2. Now, if this is minus 2, okay, do we have that in option? Yes, here. But what about this y? You can just tick it, but to confirm, we'll check this here. So, again, a4 minus a3 will also give d, right? Now, what is d? If you look at this, we can get d as 12 minus 5, that is uh, uh, 7, correct? So, a4 is how much? y minus 13 is equal to 7 so send it to rhs 7 plus 13 this becomes is it 13 sorry 12 this becomes 19 so you can see why these two values are minus 2 and y is 19 okay next moving to question this the sum of the first 20 terms of an AP, sum of the first, it means they have given S20, okay? It is 650. And the sum of the first 19 terms, that is S19, is how much? 589. Then the 20th term is dash. So for this, we have a special formula. AN is equal to SN minus SN minus 1. Okay, so SN here is 20, S20 minus S19. And this will give a 20 so 650 minus 589 how much is this uh, 6 61 option number D got it next question 
if the ap if the first term of ap is 3 and common difference is 2 then 20th term a20 will be how much a plus 19d right so direct substitution 3 plus 19 into 2 so 3 plus 38 correct so this gives 41 option number b next if a n is this then the value of s3 is what so what is s3 it is we can also say some of the first three terms so a1 plus a2 plus a3 okay so you can just find a1 here so 2 ones are 2 plus 1 3 5 a2 will be 2 to the 4 4 plus 3 7 a3 will be 3 to the 6 right 6 plus 3 9 now just add them so how much is this 12 plus 9 how much 12 plus 9 is uh, 31 right am i sure sorry 21 correct 9 plus 16 plus 5 21 so option number c okay so directly you can do don't go for that big formula there again you have to find a d then substitution this is very simpler you can follow this now moving to the last question of this chapter the sum of the first 10 terms of an AP is this and the sum of the first 9 terms. So again they have given S10 and S9. You have to find what A10. So same A in this formula which I told you just now. Okay. Remember it. It's very important. So S10 is how much? 155 minus 126. How much is that? 9 and here it is 4 minus 2 is 2. So option number C is the correct. So I hope with this 10 minutes you have learned all the kinds of questions that could be asked in your final exam from the chapter AP. If you find this useful, kindly do press the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Okay. And uh, the other types of questions like for 2, 3, 4 marks, I have provided the link in the description box. You can watch it from there and practice. Okay. So we'll see you all in my next video. Till then, take care, bye and prepare well for your exam. All the best.